What's up guys, CJ here for Kung Fu Night. It is time for more community. We're on season three, episode 15. Last time we had pillows and blankets. The uh, war is over? I believe it came to a conclusion um, by the end of this past episode. I loved the documentary feel to it. Uh, but for today, it is Wednesday and we have vampire stuff. Uh, I can't help but think of the spooky short film uh, episode we had earlier this season. I am pumped. Um, I believe it will be October. I imagine we'll have some Halloween type of stuff going on this episode, but I am excited. Description has Patreon tiers and leave your comments down below. I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going to get right into it. These two are besties once again. No longer the heads of warring nations. Beautiful. Let's do it. Best friends, best friends, making a cake. Uh, best friends, best friends, <laughs> making a cake. I never thought I'd miss it. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Woo, woo. They appreciated her vulnerability. Whoa, look at that. Campus this weekend. You'll have to park Touch on the street of the carnival. I have an ex-boyfriend that travels with a carnival. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Britta. I'm sorry, Britta. Some things are funny because they make no sense, and that is not one of them. <laughs> choo choo! It really is what he does. He comes in, gives the premise, what's going on, anything we need to know as an audience for the episode, then goes away. Because we're friends. His name is Blade. And <laughs> oh, oh, she invoked friendship. Blade. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I was gonna go into a Vince Taylor bit from Dodgeball, but I'm gonna kill it since I just- His name is Blade. Is that legal? Shouldn't New Line Cinema be suing him? He was called that before that stupid movie. Ah, Wesley Snipes. He was a Marvel comic in 1973. Well, nerd alert. Well, ex-boyfriend named Blade alert. <laughs> Her love life makes piercing with me. <laughs> <laughs> need to be reminded that he is the worst man on earth because if he comes through town and calls me, I will be there in five minutes. Who is he? I wonder who's uh, gonna cameo much? this man. Okay, I understand. I don't. <laughs> what, Britta? You're in love with a guy who's named after a kickboxing vampire movie? A fantastic <laughs> kickboxing vampire movie. <laughs> no, I don't believe in love. You wanna watch Blade tonight? Yes. You need to be on lockdown. You are a pillhead, so think of Blade as Adderall and handcuff me to the radiator like a mother flipping carny banging werewolf. I got this. I got this. <laughs> I have to tell you how to do what I want done. Mine is to want and to say my want. Yours is to know and to do. I know exactly. You trust the Dalmatian? Blade special blade weapons. Yeah. See that sword? It has two blades. One blade is silver, the other blade is infused with garlic. Oh, Brit is freaking out. No. Nah. Guys, can we maybe watch a different movie or just stop saying that word? I didn't can you even check think my about messages that. for me and tell me if he called? I don't think that's a good idea. What if my mother died? You guys are really talking over Blade. Just make it a game, like, to keep her on lockdown. If you get Odd Betty on board, she's not going anywhere. Phone is, and she's trying to get rid of her for a second, and then she's gonna go get the phone. Ah, what are you doing? You made it so obvious. <laughs> oh, never mind. There you go, Annie. There you go. I didn't I shouldn't, shouldn't have doubted you for a second. You are a lying junkie. <laughs> I'm sure those words hurt. <laughs> Still think the lock was overkill? No. Ooh, this is fun. <laughs> It's just a quick peek at Blade. If you tell anyone we did this, I will stop letting you do things with me I'm afraid to tell anyone about. Hey, I get it. You want to take a look at Britta's wow. ex-boyfriend? Get it by yourself. Oh, yeah. Here. Look at Jeff snooping out here. That him? Huh. Hmm. He's not as good looking as you. I wasn't fishing for that. How are you feeling? Good. Great, actually. Thank you, Annie. I could have never done this without you. I'm glad don't buy. I don't believe it. You. You're a sister to me. Don't get played. Don't get played. A calendar, homework assignments. I'm kind of screwed without it. You're not just manipulating me, right? Oh, because of... Okay, I have it right here. It's a gateway to further trust. Perfect. Then you later. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, sweetie. No. I secretly switched Blade's number in her phone to my number. So if oh. she tries to get in touch with her, don't talk to me. That's diabolical. Yeah, she might like look at the Blade, number, man. though. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. What did you say it was? Blade? Yep. 
But that's a carnival name, though, right? Uh, Gnome Day Corn Dog. Why would I have a carnival name? Your parents named you Blade. Apparently. Are you Blade Brown? Have you seen Class Act? The kid in play. We're becoming best friends. <laughs> 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 I'm texting to it's tell you I'm not texting you anymore. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Jesus Christ, Britta. She Fine. is bonkers. I guess you don't want to know our two-year-old. Can we? It's good for the Let's plot. make him available. What are you doing? Ending this. He's just fun. Me alone. No! She calling? She's calling him? <laughs> Act like a Fuck. carnival. Be a carnival. Now. Step right up. Ding, ding, ding. It's my ball. Yeah. yeah. In your face. Good job. Uh, give me the big one. Yeah, that's the one. Dropped out of high school <laughs> and joined the carnival, and 15 years later, here you are. Jeffrey. So it's about Chill out, bro. So what's? I want to know what drove Britta crazy about him. Are you jealous? Are you in love with me? Hell yeah, no, he is. I'm not in love with Seth. Britta likes guys who are mean to her. She doesn't like herself. Give me the phone. What did you say? Something nice. Don't worry about it. I'm deleting hmm. it from your phone. What's your secret? Why do I want to impress you? Are you dumb or smart? I dropped over 300 bucks on my booth. So I'll tell you. I was texting with Blade, but it's over now. He's. A loser. No. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> what I get for improvising. Good night. Your sister, I do everything I can to make you hate what this did, turd. What did Troy and say? first nice thing he says and you're over him? Mm. Who hurt you? So Blade isn't a loser. Uh-oh. No, oh God. Go. Lost cause, man. Flew off a Ferris wheel and embedded in his skull, destroying oh. a part of his brain that feels shame Give me that. because he didn't care if you knew that is so like him i have to go to him no woman none of us have to go to anyone stop hating ourselves there you go britta out my dreamatorium Woo! this ever happened to you guys <laughs> I was in an actual bathroom. Uh, Y'all ever notice the difference between me and Troy brushing our teeth? I brush my teeth like this. <laughs> Troy brushes his teeth like this. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, good, ep good episode of Community there, um, Origins of Empire and Mythology. Um, so, what's that thing that vampires do to humans where they, like, put them in the trance or whatever? Um, so I guess, um, Blade was the vampire and then Britta is, like, the one that can't resist and is infatuated and all that and under his spell, per se. Maybe that's what they were going for with the episode title. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty fun seeing one of, uh, Britta's exes and... Uh, his effect on her. <laughs> uh, the text messages were crazy and the lengths she was willing to go to, but um, <clears throat> it was pretty funny seeing uh, how easy she could kind of fake their relationship between her and Annie um, as they would like pretend they were sisters and you know, all that in order to get her phone. Um,. fun seeing Jeff freak out and uh, try to impress Blade as well. Um, trying to find that one thing that makes Britta crazy about him, right? Yeah, that's still all the more reason why uh, I say that Britta and Jeff are going to be together. Uh, but there was a weirdness. There were some rumblings, I think, between both Troy and Britta. It just... just a small hint whenever he sent the text message, whatever nice thing that he said, uh, Britta says, uh, you know, that Blade's a loser based on that being sent to her. And there was like a look between Annie, Britta, 
at the end, whenever Britta was looking at Troy and, you know, it seemed like Britta was like, hey, did he send that? You know, I know I was talking to you guys. And she's like, yeah, you know, he sent it. You gave him the nod. That, that's what I've got from the whole thing. Um, again, all that may be in my head, but I mean, it seemed like something was there, but um, Britta and Jeff for the end game. So the Pearson Chang stuff was pretty fun. I wish I kind of wish we would have spent, spent a little bit more time on that plot line. I liked the, uh, the, I guess the fading out of all the sound effects and adding the, um, I think it was like the breakup music and the love music beforehand before all that happened. Um, fun, fun little miniature plot line. I think Pierce and Shane could have some pretty good chemistry. You know how Pierce likes to uh, make like the racial comments, stuff like that. You know, Chang um, is uh, pretty much nuts. Uh, say, same with Pierce. Just more interaction between the two of them could be a lot of fun, I'm thinking. Um, the interactions between Shirley and Jeff, how, you know, while Jeff is spending all this time trying to figure out what that thing is with Blade, you still have both of them posing as being in a relationship. Um, you still have the fast paced dialogue and in the midst of all of it, you know, he's still calling her honey. She's still calling him sweetie, all that. You know, she's still having her, uh, you know, niceties vibe and, you know, she'll say any, everything with a certain tone uh, or whatever. Um, I think uh, Malcolm or Andre, her husband said it was like her sex voice or something like that, but she kind of just, you know, has a has a, a very feminine and frilly kind of way of speaking. But um, just having all that mixed together was was uh, uh, was a lot of fun to to experience. Um, the Dean's plot line was was pretty cool too. Uh, beginning at the very episode, you know, they say he's only there uh, to give the that little bit of information then he goes away and then he shows up later to hang out while they're watching Blade and they're like, why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? You know? <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny uh, how they set that up as well. Good episode overall, but I'm going to close it out. Description has the Patreon tiers and leave your comments down below. I'll catch you next time. All right. Peace.